what is going on guys this is your boy gunner two times bringing you another video now a couple days ago we did get information about a playstation 5 event and of course some additional information about call of duty black ops but before we get into the video make sure you smash that notification bell and of course hit that like button now the playstation 5 event will be taking place september 16th 1 p.m pacific time and 4 p.m eastern time we can only expect a lot of things coming from sony even though they have been really quiet and been hiding under a rock now this showcase will definitely be different from the others this one will be about 40 minutes long and it will be a digital showcase now on september 16th on wednesday we could be getting competitive pricing of the playstation 5. now we know that xbox's pricing was leaked or revealed to the world i would say a week ago or maybe like five days ago now the price point for the xbox is definitely obtainable if you have the funds to get it now of course the xbox series x their monster console will be running at $4.99 and then their entry level console the Xbox Series S would be $2.99 so Sony only has a digital console and the regular PlayStation 5 so you have one with a disc tray and one without of course there's people predicting the price point of the PlayStation 5 and I'm gonna say it's going to be $4.99 or they could hit us with something crazy and price the PlayStation 5 at $3.99 and the digital version at $2.99 we really don't know what's going to happen or what Sony will be doing in the next couple of days, but I'm pretty sure we will be getting pre-order details and a launch date during that because the showcase is only 40 minutes long. So they're going to be talking about the console. Of course, they're probably going to talk about the controller and a bunch of different features that the PS5 will be launching with. They may be showing some exclusive game gameplays of different games they're working on, but I think this conference right here is going to be specifically for the PlayStation five only giving us details of the purchase price and a pre-order date xbox's pre-order date is september 22nd so we could definitely expect a pre-order date for the ps5 in the next couple weeks of the xbox or maybe the same day we really don't know what's going to happen but i know that sony and microsoft has this tug of war when it comes to releasing consoles and pre-ordering consoles so those are just some of the details regarding the playstation 5 event next week now we do have some additional information regarding Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Sorry for using the same gameplay, but I really don't want to get a copyright strike. I don't think people will copyright strike you for using their gameplay, but you never know. So we know that Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War wasn't just developed by Treyarch. Of course, they had a lot of helping hands on this development of Black Ops Cold War. There were two additional studios that had development input on all modes of the game, according to Long Sensation, AKA Tom Henderson, for multiplayer campaigns, Zombies, and Warzone. So having all of those helping hands can only enhance Black Ops Cold War and make the development even easier if you have all of these people helping with this game. Now, I expect a lot of content for Black Ops Cold War. I expect a lot of different things. I want a banger campaign. I want zombies to be extraordinary and Warzone just to be as fun as Modern Warfare. I don't play a lot of Warzone. I really don't like BRs, but I see that a lot of people has attracted to Modern Warfare and it brought a different type of audience. So I want Warzone to be just as good in Black Ops Cold War. Now getting to what Tony Flame has talked about Black Ops Cold War's multiplayer. So we have a new damage flinch system in Black Ops Cold War, and this is what Tony Flame has said. Damage flinch has been redesigned in Black Ops Cold War. Flinch is now primarily a feedback mechanism to help you understand your taking damage without affecting the aim position of your weapon. Your weapon will move with your screen to stay on target, no more flinch headshots. This is big for the multiplayer. Flinching has been a huge problem in Call of Duty to where if you're getting shot, your gun goes upward and you get the automatic headshot. Literally, it happens all of the time. And I think it's more consistent in Modern Warfare because of the time to kill, to be totally honest. And this is what the new redesign mechanism for the flinch looks like via exclusive ace. A 
wish I had a comparison clip to where I could show you the difference between the two. But you could definitely see a huge difference into where you're shooting somebody and somebody is shooting back at you. It's not just going to go straight to their head because they're shooting you and your gun's going up. So I think that's a good thing. Now we do have the full kill streak list that was available in the alpha that content creators played and this is the list right now and this is how much they cost to earn inside the multiplayer now these are these are to change possibly these are not probably going to be the same at launch for black ops cold war the rcxd costs 600 the spy plane costs 800 the artillery strike is 1900 napalm strike is 2400 air patrol is 2750 War Machine is 3150, Attack Chopper is 3750, and the Chopper Gunner is 6000. Now these are not all the streaks, we did get a rumor saying that there's going to be a lot of streaks, maybe like 18 streaks at the launch of Black Ops Cold War, so that's a good thing. So this is not the full list, but those are some of the streaks that were used in the alpha when content creators were playing. But that is all the information I have for you guys today. Everything will be in the description for you guys if you want to check it out for yourself. But other than that, this is your boy Gunner Two Times bringing you another video. Please like and subscribe and comment. I did below, and I am out. Peace.